Do you have a thought about like the timeliness of art or the content? I mean, so, I mean, you've, one of the things that you and I kind of um, bonded, I guess, on is, is uh, like a public perception, mm -hmm. maybe, which is different than, you know, personal reality, right? right. Um, always. And, <laughs> always, yes. Always. Um, and, you know, some of the kind of uncertainty that comes from that. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know what my question is exactly other than has art served a role for you in, in that? So yeah, I solace mean, maybe uh, or company? They're definitely company. I mean, you can you live with these pieces and they live with you and, and, and you're very proud of them. And, it, it, I mean, obviously... The thing I'm most proud of is, are my five kids, but they, they, these are things that you're, and, I'm, and at this point, I mean, let's just be frank. I mean, uh, I'm done with, I'm done paying people back mm -hmm. financially, right? So I'm sort of playing offense in my own way again and making a living. And so it's, it's I'm proud of the fact that, that you know, I sold a lot of things to, to settle up a lot of legal issues, but I'm proud of the fact that, and I didn't, I just didn't want, I sold one art piece um, in the, in the whole process. And so I'm proud of the fact that I was able to, to, I still have these, these beautiful pieces of work from these amazing artists that, you know, I think when an outsider looked at it at the beginning and maybe knew that art was there, they're like, huh, those will be gone. Right. And so, yeah, there's, there's a house gone. There's two houses gone. There's an airplane gone, but you know what? I got a whole bunch of fucking Ed Rochets. I got a whole bunch of Banksy's. I got a whole bunch of Rydens. I got a whole bunch of Petty Bones. And so it's like, I love that. A yeah. bunch of Ken Days. <laughs> like, yeah. and, and I didn't, and, and I, I mean, I tell you, didn't think twice about selling a house or an airplane. I just couldn't bring myself to sell art. Like it was, it was the one thing in, in, the, in the, you know, at the height of uncertainty, I was like, dude, I got to do whatever I can to hold on to these pieces. So interesting, you know, because, um, I mean, you know, I went through a divorce a couple years ago and the only thing I cared about was my kids and my art. Um, and it took a while to get it all back. Right. Um, but I ended up with all of it also. Yeah. So that was, this just wasn't a question. Yeah. And by the way, it's great for your kids to be around. I mean, I love the, I don't, my kids don't ask a lot of questions about the art. The only thing they know is don't touch the right. art. <laughs> right. That's it's so funny. Their kids come over. I was like, "Hey, one rule: don't touch the art." But um, I, even if they don't ask questions, I think it's you know, if I compare my kids to other kids, like my their friends walk through homes that I don't know, probably have a bunch of family photos. Yeah, which is sweet yeah. too. But even if they don't ask questions about it, they, they are absorbing that work. For sure. And, and uh, later in life, it, it will come back around. Yeah. So um, Emerson, my son, took a graduation trip to Europe and, you know, all his just friends. Just schooling these kids so, on art. <laughs> <laughs> he made them all go right. to, yeah. you know, the Serpentine. And, yeah. you know, he took them to all these galleries and the other, you know, and there are these like jockey conservative kids, you know, and, right. and their moms all texted me like, oh, they're so glad they're with Emerson because they would never have gone to any of these places. <laughs> and, um, yeah. and, you know, whether he likes it or not, I can't say, you know, um, but he knows that it's important right. to take a look and he wanted to share that with, with his friends. Well, he wouldn't, I don't think he would have gone and done that if he didn't like it. Yeah. He may not admit that he likes it, but it's yeah. cool. <laughs>